Hello guys, this is Nate off and we have that stupid guy there talking over my voice. Shut up guy! Anyway, um, we will talk to Ulfric Starbuck now. If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then. Soon. I still say you should well. take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message yeah. to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our army. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not, the people are behind you. Many I fear still need convincing. And let them die with their false kings. We've been Shut soldiers up. a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? Only oh. the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? I believe we've already met. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> you were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Raylov's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man, but he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm no. always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. They have family. Speak with Galmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. Uh huh. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. <laughs> How many of their sons and daughters they used to call the city We right. are their families. Time well, to talk to the other guy. Open oh, window. Talk, talk, talk to the other guy. Ba -ba 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 going to the map. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Where is the place now? We're going here. We're going here. Going here. Going to solitude. <laughs> That's funny. See. So we are going now to talk to. We are going to some general faggot. Uh, we don't really care for him. A change has swept into. S I Hello. Remember you? You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Legged. The Greybeards. <laughs> what do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful Emperor. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Well, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. 
Mm -hmm. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Alfred might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. Yes, Sweet. yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning Which an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. Damn Stormcloak Storm rebels. It's a rebellion. Mm -hmm. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Uh, Balgruf refuses his right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. My order of the Yarl, stop right there. Order of the Yarl, stop right there. The Empire, fine. I can make all your problems with the guards go away. General. But done. Now move you along before you get me in trouble. I heard stories about the Solitude Windmill, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Mm -hmm. To accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share Just some of your in. intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Yeah, what the fuck? Why sir. don't you like honor, stupid motherfucker? This, this is definitely not PG-13. <laughs> I think I've stolen enough for now. And we are going top of High Rotgar. So let's start this thing, yo! Let's party, guys! So Wait, what? You've done it. The men of violence are gathered here. Now yeah, yeah, shut up. To host this council. Agree. Peace? They're not, but regret. Take yeah, your seat. Yeah, shut up. I don't want to listen, uh, listen to you. You're slow. What up, dog? Can't talk to you now. I'm just. When has any. I don't know how. It's Shut up. Break. Sit down, Talk bitches. The Empire. Worse than a waste of time, if you ask me. Please sit down, bitches. I said police. Oh, look at his chest. That's so funny. Let's see. Why is the fucking Talmo here? And why do you have three people while well, they only have two? It's not fair, you guys! Go away, you. Or you. You. You, you go away, or you, or yeah, maybe you, I don't like you very much, especially the Talmo, go away Talmo. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats, so we can begin. Negotiate the truce. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of- you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Get from here, here. here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure <laughs> that nothing is agreed to here that violates. <laughs> I like how Saron takes us it. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. <laughs> 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 uh, that's it. That's I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! <laughs> Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. 
<laughs> Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Yeah, come on, let's I do this. Have something to say first. Here we go. Shut the up. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. This Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Hooray! Are ready to proceed? Yeah, let's go. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullian, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure I like, uh, Ulfric uh, does Mark not Art. expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Shut up! Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. Who but gives a fuck I about the Empire? In good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. I like Rifton because he's a thieves guild and uh, I'd rather give up don't stuck because I don't really give a fuck about it. Um, we don't really have anything cool. So I'll In do exchange that. for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric, plus all the mead we can drink. Let's see. Uh, maybe. Having another port would ease our supply situation considerably. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. Markarth, slame. Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I don't give I a fuck. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. You are completely right. You can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon no one likes the Empire. The headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. 
Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? Out with it, then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. Shut up, bitch! Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? No. I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair hearing. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crimes of others. You know I can't. No one likes the Empire. The Emperor uh. would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. You see what talking to them gets us. Let's hear it. We want Kralder removed as Jarl of Winterhold and an Imperial candidate put in his place. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Shut up, bitch! So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Say. I don't like wind trolls, you can tell I me. knew I could count on you. No, you didn't. You hated me. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. Out with it, then. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial forces into the Pale, Skald the Elder will go into exile, and Brynna Merilis will assume the Jarlship. Winterhold will be turned over to the Empire, although the College itself will retain its traditional neutrality. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to no. trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Delmar. Sweet! We have a lot of work to do. Finally done this. up Markarth, there's a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader yeah, really is. Yeah, shut up! All well, and it's true that the Blade's justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until his... I anticipate an untold of lost law. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of Dragon Burial Sites, I believe I've identified one of... Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Cool. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. 
I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just Let's say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? You just found out, stupid. Mm, now we're going to prepare the trap. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Uh, not really. May the gods watch over your back. As I promised, my men stand ready. All right, my let's men go. know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Wait, oh, why not? <laughs> Alright, so I have to call him, that means I have to go here. Where's the, the shot for other thing? It's probably an O. Oh. Call Dragon. There we go. you talk the Jarl into this. <laughs> Hear that? Defeat and trap. Oh! Would you look at that? Oh! Damn, son! Oh, look at that. I can still search him. So I'll take that. Ah, I'm happy. Wait, can I now switch and use Dragon Rand on him? This one. Steady. Steady now. Where will he sit down? Great. Holy crap on a cracker. Get on, bitch! Rubona, you went to a great deal of trouble to put. Uh -huh. Seer Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Yeah, kind of. Renik Vaza. Where is he, yo? Apt phrase, Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus. Innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. All right. In Duran pa ok medove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zu lost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, 
You will allow me to go free? No. <laughs> Do you promise um, to serve me? Serve you? No. Serve me! It is. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldofen I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Mm -hmm. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. And you can trust me. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Alright, um I think this will be it, it for this episode. Um in the next episode we will probably not free him. Uh I think what we will do is we will um let's see, maybe we'll do some miscellaneous quests. I did also find out how to do this, so I suppose we'll do this uh, in the next episode. Uh, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. I thought I did those. Um, let's see, because you want to. We'll see about that, and we'll talk to him. That doesn't seem like a hard quest. We'll talk to him. Ah, yep, that's it. Sir, All right, have no we have a plan no now. Um, very good. This has been eight off, and Serana. This is Serana. I'm sending it to Serana. Come on, I'm gonna be back to back like this. No, 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 no. no. There we go. No, say it. Do yeah, not well, test this has been Aethoff and Serana. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.